Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. So, have you ever gone on a reconnaissance mission for external references? Oh yeah, raise your hand if you have. If you've ever been on a search and rescue mission due to broken links with XRFs, well then you're gonna wanna tune into this tip. Right, I'm gonna show you that with AutoCAD 2018 and higher, there are some really cool tools that are gonna make your life so much easier when it comes to fixing those evil, broken links. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so take a look at this drawing that I have in front of me. And if you look at the external reference palette that I have there, you will see that there's some bad juju going on. Look at this, not found, not found, not found. Oh man, there's some bad stuff going on. In fact, if I open this join file and I saw all of these broken links that had to do with these XRFs, I would be like, uh, hey Joe, um, I'm not feeling too well. I think I'm gonna go home. Could you just, uh, could you just finish up where I left off here? I'd totally be handing it off to someone else because this is not pretty. It's not going to be pretty. So let me show you how much easier with AutoCAD 2018 it's going to be for you to fix these broken links, all right? So first off, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, let's start at the top. Why not? I'm going to go ahead and select the first XREF that has issues and I'm where it says not found. I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to do what we've always done, select new path. I got to show it where the path is. Where is it? I'm going to click on there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find the directory where that file is supposed to be. It's right here. This is the directory. And then I'm going to click on the file, just like we've always done, nothing new here. And I'm going to click on open. It's going to be a long day. I've got a lot of files to fix. Oh my gosh, what is this? Would you like to apply the same path to other missing references? What? Wow, Ooh, the heavens have opened, of course I would. So this is gonna actually take a look at the other not found XRFs and see if it could be found in this directory. Shut up, this is amazing, absolutely yes. All right, take a look at the screen. You'll see that I did get rid of a few of those evil exclamation points and there are a little less not founds listed in my XREF palette there, the XREF manager. Yay, okay, I'm a little bit happier. That's gonna save me some time, all right? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what else can I do? All right, I still have some of the evil exclamation points. That's okay, no problem. Let me click, I'm gonna use my control key, I'm gonna grab the rest of these. Click on those three. I'm gonna do a right click, and this is new, find and replace. All right, that might as well say search and rescue. I wish they would change it to that, search and rescue. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the search and rescue. Okay, so basically, I'm going to tell it to the, another directory that it can search in for the remaining XREFs that it wasn't able to find. Replace with, I gotta go find that directory. All right, which, let me go ahead and do a little searching again. Let's go to, uh, how about map files? And it happens to be in this services directory. That is where these other files are located. I'm gonna go ahead and say, open that directory. So once again, search and replace, <laughs> search and rescue. Look, I can't even say it right now. Find and replace, search and rescue, same thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and say replace all. And then it's gonna come back. It's gonna give me a nice little report. It's gonna tell me how I did. And you can see on here, three references successfully updated, zero references failed. Yay, got them all right. 100% success rate, that's always a good thing. And I'll tell you, you can even, you know, you can cheat. You can grab a whole bunch of them. It's not going to hurt. You can try to do the, the, the find and replace, search and rescue. You know, if it goes badly, it goes badly. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, you can go ahead and, you know, do some stabs in the dark there. It's not a problem. Although stabs in the dark sound like a bad thing to do, doesn't it? And I'm going to go ahead and say, okay. And now, what? Look at that. Think of all the time I saved. Those are billable hours. You can tell them it took a lot longer than it really did because they're gonna expect it to take a long time. And then you, what are you gonna do? I don't know, you can take a nap. You can go home, you can go shopping. I don't know, whatever you wanna do. <laughs> you saved a boatload of time. Now remember, this is only with AutoCAD 2018 and higher. All right, but guess what? You're gonna have less headaches when it comes to those broken links inside of AutoCAD 2018 and higher. And uh, your world's gonna be a not lot nicer. You're gonna save a lot of money on Tylenol. That's what I know. Or your painkiller of choice. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me and I'm gonna see you back here in two more weeks. Have a great rest of the week.